South Carolina. Today we're in Greenville, South Carolina, and this is my hometown. It is so much cuter than it used to be when I grew up. And it really developed a foodie scene. So I'm excited to find out what things we can find that are gluten and dairy free. I've already tried some really delicious things and I can't wait to share them with you. I'm Laura, here with my husband Nick and our three kids. I'll show you how we travel with dietary restrictions. We hope these guides help you plan your next gluten-free, dairy-free, stress-free vacation. We are five hungry travelers. There is a reason that Greenville is one of the most popular places for folks to move to when they want really great quality of life and a slower pace. It is an adorable downtown with lots of green spaces. It's called Greenville for a reason. And there's also a great foodie scene that has developed here in recent years. We enjoyed walking around. There's always um, art exhibits and festivals and things going on that you can participate in. It is cute, but it is hot. Guys, the ultimate Southern food has got to be classic biscuits. And Biscuit Head did not disappoint. These biscuits are called Biscuit Head because of traditional southern biscuits being called cat head biscuits because they were the size of a cat's head and they were seriously ginormous. They made me an amazing um, oat milk latte and even had oat milk on the coffee bar if you were just going for regular drip coffee. But the star of the show was definitely the homemade jams that you could take from the jam bar and that's really all the biscuits were, were a vehicle for that jam. There were also lots of biscuit and gravy options, so I tried the vegan gravy on the gluten-free vegan biscuit. And it was a sweet potato coconut gravy with some really warm, almost sweet potato pie flavor. But the coconut did give it a little bit of a, almost a curry flavor without the curry spice. The kids were so happy with their eggs and biscuits. I will say that was a gorgeous side salad. I tried the collard greens one day and the side salad a different day, and I definitely recommend the salad. The collards were still a little crunchy for my liking. Okay. We are going to do Tournament of the Jam. All right, we've got mango chili. Rosemary peach. Chai. What was that one? Chai. Okay. This is sweet potato chai. And sour cherry. This is the one I've been eating. It's good. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly sour either. I actually think the baby would like it just fine. If you're scared of these super adventurous ones, I'd go with the sour cherry. It's a safe bet, but super, super tasty. Okay, very excited to try the sweet potato chai. There's sweet potato in my gravy and sweet potato in my collard greens, but that's not stopping me from trying some more. Now, people think that peaches are from Georgia. Peaches are from South Carolina. It's our state fruit. And the best ones come from here. The rosemary comes through but isn't overpowering, which is tricky. This one's mango chili. How brave am I feeling? Too much? There's chili in it. <laughs> it's not terrible, but there is a kick. But the mango makes it kind of like a chutney. It's funny, the sweet potato in the um, 
and the coconut in the gravy is very kind of curry-esque without the curry spice. And the mango and chili is very complimentary to that. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, give it a like and subscribe. Thanks. After Biscuit Head, I took the kids to the Children's Museum of the Upstate, all by myself. I was a brave mom. <laughs> this complex downtown has the Upcountry History Museum, there's an art museum, there's the library, but the Children's Museum is always a favorite. There was lots of things to learn about science, about physics, there was a grocery store that was just their size that was a lot of fun. We easily filled at least four hours there. It was a long day, but it was a lot of fun, and the kids did not want to stop. They had great activities for all ages. My kids ranged from two to seven, almost eight, and it wasn't too young or too old for any of them. This was one of my favorite parts with the water splash area resembling the Reedy River downtown. It had a really nice local spin on a splash area. The different areas with different themes and activities just kept coming and coming. When we got hungry we stopped by the self-serve cafe and we found a few snacks that worked for us. But I will warn you, this day will wear your kids out. <laughs> I had heard so much about Farm Fresh Fast and their donuts. They even have a donut truck called D's Nuts. But I knew it was truly farm to table when I saw that there were tomato plants growing in window boxes out front. Once we were inside, the decor was cute and a little bit country, and the food options were great for both meat eaters and vegetarian vegan with lots of options for those who are gluten-free. Plus, there are those famous donuts. That day we were celebrating my daughter and I let her pick where we would go and she said, I need donuts. So she got her wish. But we also had a proper lunch. I got a veggie platter that was really yum. I really think that the star there was the mushrooms. They were beautifully marinated and really, really meaty and rich, but those collard greens also were just full of flavor, soft and mushy, and you could tell had so much love in them. And then some yucca fries that had a good spice to them. All in all, yummy, yummy food. They're really good. This is where you get the collards. Sorry, biscuit head. They're playing Dolly. The yucca fries have a lot of seasoning on them. They're a little spicy. It's donut time. Now, some folks at my table have already tried their donuts, and we have some mixed opinions. So I'm going to give them a try and see what I think. They are very light. You can tell that they're baked donuts, they're not fried. So don't expect it to be a traditional fried donut. That's like a like a pound cake texture, and I like it. This one is lemon chiffon, and I'm gonna try just the cake and see if the lemon flavor is in the cake or is just in the icing. It's a little lemony. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> A little bit of the lemon flavor is coming from the cake, but most of it seems to be coming from the icing. I did ask them if the food coloring was from natural food dyes, or if they were food colors, or what, and they, the cashier wasn't able to tell me. And I had already asked a lot of questions, so we just let that be what it was. We, we didn't get the blue donut for that reason. But that's tasty. Okay, the lemon chiffon is a thumbs up. This one, however, is a coffee flavor. And some folks in my group were not into it. It's the same pound cake texture for the batter. 
to me, it just tastes like an old school, like, Betty Crocker cake mix flavor. It's like slightly, slightly coffee, slightly a little bit like burnt coffee flavor, but mostly just like a birthday cake flavor. And maybe almost in like a little bit of a fakey way. My sister and I were joking that it kind of reminds us of those old lip smacker lip glosses when you were a kid and you were like, oh, it's gonna taste like chocolate. And then you put it on and it's like kind of chocolate, but mostly just fake and a little gross. Um, I'm not gonna say I think this is gross. I think this is tasty. I think the lemon is better. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. Cake itself is just really good cake. Like yellow cake mix. Yeah. The, co the coffee icing is hit or miss. Um, I cannot taste test the chocolate zebra stripe donut for you because Nora ate it all before I could get to it. So if you're looking for a four-year-old's approval, get a thumbs up. Another fantastic downtown activity with the kids is the Greenville Zoo. This is kind of the perfect small zoo. It has lions and giraffes and alligators and flamingos, but you can really knock it out in a couple of hours. It is a little hilly, so be aware that you may have to push that stroller uphill. Hey look, it's Maylin the Red Panda. Vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free. 40 Below Joe was available at the snack stand and it's like Dippin' Dots made with coffee. I loved them, the kids not so much. Outside the zoo is Cleveland Park with lots of playgrounds. If you really wanna experience Main Street, downtown Greenville, head over to Nosedive. This is a elevated gastro pub with some really interesting menu options and great awareness for gluten-free diners. They easily accommodated our dairy-free needs as well. The kids ordered a fish and chips off the adult menu split three ways, and they were really happy with that cornmeal crust. I'll admit, I stole a little bite from them while waiting for my veggie plate. What I was excited about was this boiled peanut hummus on the menu. Now, boiled peanuts are kind of a South Carolina classic and something I actually had been craving the whole time I was in town. This really got that boiled peanut flavor with a nice creamy dip texture. And since we were gluten-free, they brought out veggies and chips. My veggie plate was loaded with delicious things and I did order a salmon filet on the side. There was definitely more food than we could finish. I loved these giant windows. It felt like you were sitting outside without having to go out. The fondest memories are made when gathered around the table. I think this might be the new motto for my channel. For the scenic day that you really come to Greenville for, you want to go to Falls Park. This is right on the Reedy River and runs behind the Peace Center for the Performing Arts. It's such a pretty area. It was a favorite place to walk in high school, but since then has developed all kinds of restaurants and art galleries and just some of the most fantastic landscaping. Now, Falls Park and Cleveland Park at the zoo both contain parts of the Swamp Rabbit Trail. This popular 22-mile trail is great for running and biking and runs all the way from downtown Greenville up through Furman and to Traveler's Rest. Falls Park is hilly, but there are elevators to make it accessible. The suspension bridge is the most iconic site in Falls Park. The movement of it sometimes freaks out tourists, but it is safe and has the best views around, so don't miss it. Mellow Mushroom has long been one of my favorite spots for vegetarian pizza, but when we went gluten-free and dairy-free, they were able to seamlessly accommodate our needs. The menu has some good options for us, but I will warn you, the food is mellow, the ambiance is mellow, the staff is mellow. So if you are in a hurry or are feeling particularly needy, this might not be the place for you. 
but all of our gluten and meat eating family members were really happy with their pizzas and sandwiches and wings. If it's helpful, they use follow your heart cheese. So you can check out those ingredients before you go. And I was really excited to get my fill of Southern sweet tea. It's just not the same when I order it outside the South. Of course, the kids were thrilled with pizza. Hey guys, it's Laura from the future. Ooh. I'm already back home from South Carolina, but I wanted to hop on here and let you know that these five meals, while they were excellent, were not the best gluten-free meal we had in South Carolina. We found an excellent restaurant that I'm gonna share with you and our favorite family activity. In addition to this hub of gluten-free, dairy-free options that I was shocked to find outside of downtown. So enjoy these downtown locations and then in the next video, we'll go beyond downtown. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll find out when that video goes up. See you then. Now back to downtown. Tipsy Taco is another location we went to twice on our visit. Once to the Pelham Road location and once downtown on Conesty Avenue. The tacos had some really good options and they said all but only one or two of them could be made gluten-free. The specials even included a good vegan option. I did bring my own Trader Joe's grainless tortilla chips since I can't have corn but they had lettuce wraps to make my tacos with since I didn't have the corn tortillas like the kiddos did. They were so tasty. The mushroom tacos were good. The veggie tacos were good. I recommend it all. If you are flying out of Greenville from GSP, you should know that there is a Qdoba so you can make some burrito bowls that fit your dietary needs. But my absolute favorite is this beautiful green space. Once you're through TSA and before you head down to your gate, you can run around, let your kids burn off steam before they have to go get on the plane. I hope you guys are having some safe and delicious travels this summer. Let me know where you're headed. And thanks so much for watching. I had so much fun showing you my hometown. Like and subscribe, you guys. It would help us out a lot. See you next time, travelers.